continue our lesson about solving quadratic equations. This time, we will use completing the square. We are done with extracting square roots, factoring. Ito naman yung pangatlong way. Using this method means transforming one side of equation into a perfect square trinomial. x squared plus 12x plus 36. Or ito yung tinatawag nating PST. Recall natin yung meaning ng PST or example ng PST, x squared plus 12x plus 36. Look on the third term, yung 36 natin. This is a perfect square, right? Ang, ang factor nitong 36 natin is 6 and 6. And when we add 6 and 6, the answer is 12 or the middle number. And this perfect square trinomial can be written in the, into square of binomial. The square of binomial is quantity x plus 6 squared. Okay. Again, PST can, can be written into a square of binomial. At later, gagamitin natin siya sa pagsusolve ng ating quadratic equation. So, are you ready? Okay. Let's uh, look for our examples here. Number one example, solve for the roots of x squared plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. We will use completing the square. The first step here is write the equation such that the terms with the variables are on the left side of the equation and the constant term is on the right side. So, nandito lahat ng may variable yung may mga x, tapos sa kabilang side yung number lang or yung constant term natin. Again, dapat yung constant term nasa kabilang side and then nasa left side lahat ng may variable. That is our first step. To do that, we will apply the addition property of equality. Okay, from our equation, the inverse is positive 3. We will add positive 3 to both sides of our equation. And this one, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. It will become x squared plus 2x is equal to 3. So, na-transfer na natin yung 3 sa other side. Nasunod na natin yung x squared plus bx is equal to c. Magkasama na rito sa left side yung may variable, then sa kabila yung constant. Second step, we will multiply b to 1 half, then square the product. Ano ba yung b natin dito sa ating Example, ang B natin is 2. Yung 2 natin ay multiply natin sa 1 half. Palagi ito ah. Palagi natin multiply sa 1 half yung B. So, 2 times 1 half, the answer is 2 over 2 or simply 1. After we multiply to 1 half, yung nakuha nating product ay i-square natin. I-square natin yung product natin. So, 1 times 1 or 1 squared is 1. Yan. Again, yung nakuha natin dito sa step 2, sa B, sa step B is 1. Next, add the square of 1 half of the coefficient of x on both sides of the resolving equation. The left side of the equation becomes a perfect square trinomial. Yung nakuha natin, di ba, is 1. I-add natin yung 1 dun sa left side and dun sa right side. Dadagdagan natin ng 1. Kaya yung left side ay magiging perfect square trinomial na. Ayan, o. Nagdagdag tayo ng 1 sa left side and then 1 sa other side. At ito ay naging perfect square trinomial na. Kaya, Ayan, simplify muna natin. So, magiging x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 4. Kasi 3 plus 1, 4. 
Ngayon, PST na, di ba? Yung ating left side. So, express the PST or the perfect square trinomial on the left side of the equation as a square of binomial. Itong x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 4. This is PST. Gagawin na natin siyang square of binomial. Nagiging quantity x plus 1 squared. Kasi 1 times 1, 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Ayan. Then just copy equals to 4. Anong susunod natin gagawin? Next step, solve the resulting quadratic equation by extracting the square root. I-square root natin yung left side, tapos i-square root din natin yung right side. Ligyan natin pareho ng square root. Kaya ito na yung maging equation natin. So quantity x plus 1 squared, so may square root na siya, square root of quantity x plus 1 squared, and then equal to positive negative square root of 4. Lagyan natin ng positive negative para hindi tayo malito. Then, isimplify na natin. Ano ang square root ng quantity x plus 1 squared? Ang square root niya is x plus 1. Right? Tapos, ang square root ng 4 is 2. Kasi 2 times 2, 4. And then, lagyan lang natin ng positive negative. Dalawa kasi yung sagot dyan, ba? Positive 2 and negative 2. Now, solve the resulting linear equation. Hindi pa to tapos kasi kailangan makuha natin si x lang. So, para makuha natin yan, yan paghiwalayin lang muna natin. Ito, positive 2 muna. Ginamit natin. Tapos, we add negative 1 to both side. Yan, para maging 0 to, tapos maiwan lang yung x. Kaya, ayan. Magiging x is equal to 1. Kasi 2 minus 1 is 1. Ayan, 1 minus 1 is 0. Then, 2 minus 1 is 1. Sa kabila naman, ito yung negative 2. Makikita nyo, ba Negative 2 yan. Tapos, nag-add lang din tayo ng negative 1 to both side para matanggal yung 1 or maging 0. Matira na lang yung x. Then, simplify natin. x is equal to negative 3. Kasi negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Okay, so nasolve na natin yung ating um, equation at gumamit tayo ng completing the square. Yes, medyo marami talaga yung steps, pero kayang-kaya nyo naman yan. Kasi magagaling kayo, di ba? <laughs> now, let's sum up again the steps in solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Oh, by the way, if A is greater than 1, divide both sides of the equation by A, then simplify. So, kung halimbawa may 2x squared na given, so, diba, yung given ko kasi x squared lang, if in case 2x squared, ang gagawin mo lang, i-divide mo lang lahat ng terms sa 2 para maging x squared na lang. Now, kapag ka hindi naman, ito na agad tayo, sa number 2 step na tayo. Write the equation such that the terms with the variables are on the left side of the equation and the constant term is on the right side. So, x squared plus bx is equal to c. Ihiwalay lagi natin yung constant term dun sa kabilang side. Tapos, Next, multiply b to 1 half, then square the product. Okay? After that, yung nakuha natin do sa step 3, i-add natin. Add the square of 1 half, the coefficient of x on both sides of the resulting equation. The left side of the equation becomes a perfect square trinomial. Okay? After that, may PST na tayo, di ba? Express the perfect square trinomial on the left side of the equation as the square of binomial. 
yung PST natin, gagawin nating binomial, square of binomial. Tapos, solve na tayo by extracting the square root. So, i-square it na natin both sides. After that, solve the resulting linear equation. Mm -hmm. Next, nagagawin natin is to check the solutions obtained against the original equation. So, i-substitute lang natin yung mga values na nakuha natin dun sa original given natin. So, yan yung mga steps na kailangan nating tandaan sa um, completing the square. Kailangan lang dito uh, maging patient ka. Okay? Huwag ka agad susuko. Kailangan tandaan mo yung mga steps at sundin siya para hindi tayo magkamali. Okay? So, next lesson naman, solving by quadratic formula.